Hi, Leos. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for uh, your next 48 hours or your weekend. So this will be a weekend reading. All right, for our Leos, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And of course, thanks for donations. You can get a reading with any donation. So just throw on that out there for a limited time. Let's see. I can get all of these. All right, calling in Leo's angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get messages for Leo's greater good. This is the sacred signs and symbols. So for Leo, for Leo. That's what we've got. All right, Leo. We have mop, slop, sloppy mess, a spill, or a cleanup. Armor, guarded, defensive, and stoic. Kind of like the um, swords energy. So the mop, and, and then chameleon, by the way. Camouflage, incognito, or adapting. So I think definitely there probably is something that you need to clean up or tie up loose ends. Maybe there's what they say, unfinished symphony. Maybe that's what's going on. I feel like this is also representing the death card or closure to something. Hmm. Maybe something's particularly complicated and that's why it says that. So maybe something's just really complicated. Armor, I mean... You know why we put walls up. It's it's really more of an ego thing because it's to protect us, but it's it's kind of necessary sometimes. It's just it's like all about boundaries, I think. Okay, and then chameleon is something that is able to not only adapt, but when in Rome, do as the Romans do, and that's what uh, the chameleon does. So yeah, all right. So what are you hiding and what are you building up walls against? And what is it that you need to close up or finalize? Finalize. All right. So angel number messages for Leo. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, all right. <clears throat> okay, number six. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a strong talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. I am nurturing. 29, I am insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and seems to draw out information and ideas from the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. 29. 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted. And your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and the highest good of all. I am kind-hearted. 19. I am, I mean, 18. Why did I say 19? I don't know why I even said that. Oh, nice, Leo. Nice, Leo. Wanting some change. Want everything to be rocked up for you, apparently. 555. Five, five. A major shift in this, you know, I don't think it uh, distinguishes good from bad. Um, 555 has not always been uh, an abrupt, it's always an abrupt change, but it, it's not all the time negative or positive. Um, but it's like a total different way of seeing and experiencing life. 555. Oh, nice. And then we have 888. Maybe the sudden disruption is your 888 coming in. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, 
you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. That's right. Abundance. Let's see. I think I can move this over and then fit a little bit more right here. I am abundant. I love seeing a bunch of eights. I'm like, oh, yay. Yay. Okay, let's see here. Let's get some. Let's do... Let's do the tarot first. We're going to use, um, I'm going to use the psychic tarot card. It's kind of cheating, but we will use regular tarot to clarify if we, if we really need to clarify. So Celtic cross spread for Leo's next 48 hours, please. Right. What is the issue for our Leos? What's the issue for our Leos? Hey Leo, I kind of messed up, so I've been, I've already started. Um, we have the nine that represents solitude first, and then we have the waiting game. So something that we are waiting on, um, seeming like that's maybe the energy of the hangman energy. Uh, finding solitude and need to be alone and maybe feel like how you could deal with those uh, defensive actions like being guarded or I don't know incognito might have a reason okay the heart of the matter is three of pentacles the um the guidance the laying the groundwork down um partnership Alliances. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, laying the groundwork, getting advice from maybe spirit team. Um, past past situation for Leos is five five of cups, emotional loss. Of course, that's regret. Um, wishing you could do things a different way. Like, like, um, well, wishing you could turn back the hands of time and actually do something about the past right now. So in, in another sense, this can be a very self-pitying card and it, you can fall in the trap of like clinging to the past. So we're not really moving forward when we're stuck in that energy. Um, that's why we want to get out of it usually. So what's the present, the present energy? It landed on that. Patience. See, the waiting game, your, your readings right now are all about patience. Waiting, wait for divine timing. Things are coming. Things are coming. Have patience. That's like the seven of pentacles or temperance. All right, near future. Leo's, your future for Leo's. All right, well, I think we're coming out of this, though. So there's two, two. Mental conflict. Mental conflict. Um, this is two of swords energy. So it, it also can mean, well, sometimes it's a conflict. Sometimes it's just avoiding something. You may be making um, a hard decision here, too. The mental conflict. Oh, look at that. Destiny. The wheel of fortune. Destiny. Okay, how do you feel? I don't know why that that's... Maybe you're waiting on that decision. Maybe they're connected. There you go, Leo. Get your power back. And look, it's an eight, of course, for the strength card. Leo. Strength. Leadership, courage, power, power. Maybe it has to do with your abundance too, like sacral chakra mm -hmm. and prosperity. What are the external situations? What are the external situations for Leo? Wisdom, all right, major arcana, wisdom. 
So we could be researching, we could be getting, you know, wisdom I feel comes from experience. You can learn as many, you know, as many things as you want, but until you've experienced, um, then and only then can you actually have, you know, um, empathy. You can have compassion, but to really empathize or understand what somebody's been through, you have to have had some kind of experience. And we all have had some kind of experience to relate to somebody else. Maybe looking, it might be packaged different, but same type situations. All right. So, wisdom. Wisdom along your journey gained. What is the how? Um, let's see, what was that? External. Okay. So, what is the hopes and fears? Hopes and fears for Leo next. 48 hours. Okay, movement, choices, and decisions. Two. <laughs> two, two, two. See that? Just for you, Leo. <laughs> and then 21. 21, the universe, or this could be a completion. So, look, it starts off, I feel like this is past, where you're clinging to the past, wanting to live in this regret feeling, and it's terrible. Don't live through that. And then we have three of pentacles next. So, receive. it looks like he's putting his hand up to receive some assistance or guidance, Laying the groundwork, um, getting to this eventually eight of power um, yourself, getting to be like authentically you. There's still a decision, though, we haven't made our minds up on yet. You may be moving. You may be making some big choices here uh, that really affect large outcomes. We have air, earth fire, passion, and pentacles being represented by the different doors that you could choose to go in. I think that's interesting. So the universe is saying, hey, new chapter. You might want to change the experience up. <laughs> All right, what is the probable outcome for Leos? Probable outcome for Leos. Six, harmony. Ooh. And then... Oh, I always do this. <laughs> patience and look, patience again. Patience and planning. Look, patience. That was hanging in there waiting, waiting. Patience and planning, seven of pentacles. So yeah, this is definitely, well, why did I put it there? Definitely about waiting for your outcome. And it's harmony though. It's like finding harmony and balance and love and all of that maybe a partnership or maybe it's like just working with another person cooperation but patience and planning and that looks like a two doesn't it two 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 <laughs> all right so harmony and patience and planning that's crazy all right i'm not gonna fix these too much because we're about done so all right, so let's get another card. Let's get, um, let's do the spellcasting deck. We haven't done that in a while. Okay. Spellcasting. No. No, no, no. Get your power back. Use your wisdom to start over. To start something completely new. Really? <laughs> I will look at them. We will look at them. Healing. Healing something. Probably past wounds. Rumi said, the wounds are the slits where the light comes in. The wounds on our body are the slits that the light comes in. So healing, new beginnings, healing, happiness, 
dreams, something in your dreams, some kind of messages in your dreams, and compassion. And I was talking about that. You can have empathy, you can have compassion, or if you haven't been through something, but you might have been through something like it, and you can have compassion. So high form of love. All right, now let's get um let's get an angel answer for you. You can either ask a question or just wait to see, you know, what gets pulled out. We have compromise, and it's the same thing as this. This six of pentacles, so you should compromise. That is your advice, compromise. And they see the scales of justice too here, right? Maybe there's a decision. Two, 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 two. <laughs> I like that. All right, Leo, there's your reading. I hope you all liked it, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.